Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more concept in operating system that is domain of protection. So in our previous session, we have seen what is a protection in operating system, right? So what are the principles, what are the goals and what are the mechanisms we have seen and in today's session, we'll see what is a domain of protection, right? So without delay, let us start the session. domain of protection so we know that a protection means providing the security so for what we are providing the security means so for uh, resources and the data or uh, files or a memory right so similarly this domain of protection in operating system is defined as what sorry <coughs> what resources are being used by users and what operations can be performed on resources so these two things will be comes under this domain of protection what are the resources uh, accessed by the users and what are the operations that can be performed on the resources simply we can say them as access rights or privileges okay so for example you can take one company so there will be a lot of uh, employees so with the different designations so every employee will be having their own privileges to use the resources okay so similar kind here also what resources can be used by the users as well as what kind of operations that can be performed so here let us go with the basic terminologies in this domain of uh, protection so first one is a subject what we are calling it as a subject so a subject is either users or processes processes so users will be using the resource or process will also be using the resource during the execution during its execution and the next one is the object object so object means the resources what are the resources that are being used so resources resources so like uh, files okay some memory files memory or uh, printers printers etc all the all are the resources that we are calling them as a object okay object and then access rights so what is this access rights means operations performed operations performed so what kind of operations that can be performed on files or memory or a printers so operations on files means read operation write operation or we can execute the memory segments so execute operations okay and accessing the printer all these comes under this access rights access rights now domain domain so domain means it is a collection of it's a collection of objects with access rights so it is a collection of resources and their access permissions is called as a domain so these are the basic terminologies that will be used in domain of production protection right the next one is a domain switching domain switching so this domain switching means the operating system will switch the domain uh, uh, switch the process from one domain to another domain so whenever it is required so if a process requires more number of access permissions so then automatically it will be shifted to uh, shifted from one domain to another domain so this is an operating system 
switches process from one domain to another to another domain for example let us say there are two modes of operations user mode and a kernel mode right so two modes of operations which is a kernel mode and a user mode so we know that uh, the user mode will be having a few limited permissions okay whereas kernel mode will be having a little bit more uh, permissions to execute the process so if one process is being executed in the user mode if it require more number of uh, uh, i mean more uh, access permissions then automatically the mode will be shifted to the kernel mode so that that kind of thing we call it as a domain switching so operating system switches a process whenever it is required from one domain to another domain so in order to improve or increase the access permissions so best example you can see a subject here the subject means uh, let us take an example it's a company okay it's a corporate company so if it is a corporate company you can say subject means whatever the employees okay managers will be there hrs will be there admin admins will be there so there are different kinds of employees will be there right so all those are the subjects and coming to the objects so objects are uh, nothing but resources whatever the programs applications or uh, resources files printers all these comes under the resources that can be used by the employees of the organization and coming to the access rights or a domain so access rights is same read read operation so not everyone can uh, modify the data not everyone can access the files right so not everyone can access the printer option so there are uh, the same access rights will be there for the employees in the organization coming to the domain so if you say every employee will be giving one access id that means a personal i mean id card for example let us take an id card so based upon their id card they they use their access to some of the resources so if one employee got a promotion right if one employee got a promotion automatically the employees access rights will be improved right so that kind we can say it as a domain switching so uh, just an example on all these things right so domain switching means whenever it is required the operating system will be switches a process from one domain to another domain okay yes now uh, next the implementation of this domain uh, of protection how this domain of protection can be implemented see so before we go into that what is the purpose of uh, using this domain so need what is the need of domain of protection so one is uh, to prevent unauthorized access in our previous class also we have discussed about this one or uh, to prevent unauthorized access and one more thing is very important thing that is utilization of resources in multi user environment or multitasking environment so efficient usage efficient utilization efficient utilization of resources whatever the available right efficient resources okay in multi user if it is a single user there will be no problem multi user or multitasking environment so multiple tasks can be implemented in a single time so multitasking environment so this is the main reason for getting this domain of protection one is prevent unauthorized access so only the the users those who can access the uh, data they can access otherwise the permissions will not be granted and the next one efficient utilization of resources now the implementation how this uh, domain of protection will be implemented implementation so this can be implemented by using access matrix so what is this access matrix so when we call it as a matrix we know that will be represented with the rows and columns rows and columns so what represents this rows and what represents this columns so this rows represents the subject 
okay so subject or domain domain and columns represents objects objects or resources objects or resources and whatever the call cells which represents this columns and rows means access rights so the cell the corresponding row and column cell represents access permissions or access rights so that means uh, the permissions what the resources can do right so it will be represented as so for example we can say it's a subject or domain okay so let it be some files we are saying it as a files oh, sorry so file or a memory or a printer we are taking only three uh, resources for example let it be domain 1 and domain 2 uh, two domains are there okay two domains are there and you can also represent it as a process okay process 1 and process 2 a uh, user 1 and user 2 okay process 1 and process 2 or user 1 and user 2 so this can, this can be either uh, uh, domain or subject whatever it may be i represent it as uh, this is a subject and this is an object this is an object this is a subject so for example uh, let us write here read uh, read write uh, execute access for example let us take this one right so this uh, matrix this is called as an access matrix this is called as an access matrix so that implies the name itself indicates it will use the complete access permissions for particular domains or uh, processes so in this example you can see d1 or p1 or p so d1 you can call it as a d1 so I, i'll write everything here so in order to avoid the confusion d1 or p1 or u1 d2 or p2 or u2 so d for domain p for process u for user so we can uh, we can use any term right so this implies the process p1 will be having only read operation on file 1 and also accessing to the printer but p1 doesn't have any permission to execute the memory segment coming to the p2 process p2 p2 having the access rights read and write operations on file 1 as well as execute the memory segment but p2 can't access the printer okay so in this way they will maintain some access matrix where it will having all the information about the domains so what we are saying it as a domain means it's a collection of uh, resources a collection of resources or a collection of objects with access rights so this is also same thing collection of resources and access rights so this is a row this is a column and this is a cell so we are saying rows as a subject or domain so this is a subject or domain and columns are objects or resources and cell is a access permissions either read uh, read permission write permission execute permission or accessing the resources so this is how we can implement the domain of production by using this access matrix right so let us stop here and uh, if you really enjoyed the session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.